Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today I want to share with you a method for laying out a pentagon or a star with nothing more than a speed square, a straight edge, and something to write with. Let's get started. The interior angles of pentagon measure 72 degrees, so there's five individual sections of 72 degrees which make up the total 360 degrees. Now, if you were laying this out with a protractor, that would be pretty easy to do. But because we're doing it with the speed square, we have to make a little adjustment. And the reason we have to do that is because we want to be able to mark along this edge, which is flat against our surface, so we get a nice crisp line there. If we were to right along this edge, there's some gap there, and we can get our pencil off. So we want to be able to mark along a nice clean edge. Now, because we're doing that, it changes the angle out here just slightly. So instead of doing... 72 degrees what we're going to do is we're going to come just to the outside of 71 degrees so you can see where the center of the mark of 71 is we're going to come to the outside edge of that to do all these marks so we'll start off by setting our square down we're going to mark the corner here so that we have our start position for our rotation and then we'll make one line now before you move your speed square we'll come over here and we'll mark that right at that 71 or just a hair over 71 degrees so we'll mark that and now we can spin our square we'll make sure i pick up that point so we can reset every time on there set our pencil down come right to the point we'll rotate out to our new mark and then we can draw that line and then we'll do the same thing and we'll just repeat the process all the way around the circle Make sure that we're just over 71 degrees. We'll reset. Now there is a little bit of human error with this, so it may not come out exactly perfect, but we should be, if we do it correctly, we should be within probably about a quarter degree of accurate to a true, um, to, for a regular Pentagon. So keep in mind that this is not a perfect process, but it does give you a very, very good estimation for a regular pentagon. And finally, we have one more. Make sure we get that right on the money there. And we'll rotate to the last one. Get it right on our point. And check our degree here. And we are right at... I could have gone just a touch more. I'm about maybe a half degree off at the final product. So if you want to eliminate a little bit of error in this too, you could do two going this way and two going that way and eliminate a little bit of the accumulative error there. That way you're, you know, when you get down here to the bottom, you might be off maybe a quarter of a degree at most. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're just going to take a measurement with a straight edge to the size that we want our pentagon. So I'm going to go out. Um, let's see. We'll set it down here. We'll try to get it as large as possible. We'll do a six inch from the center there. So six inches. We'll mark each one of these at six inches. And then we'll come back in and we'll fill it in. And there we have it. We just laid out a pretty good pentagon with a sweet square and a straight edge. So I went ahead and laid out both the pentagon and the star. And this is not a regular pentagon exactly because we are off about a half degree working around the camera or you know, in conjunction with the camera. I'm not quite able to get position where I normally would. Normally I can get these within about a quarter of a degree or less of error. Now you can eliminate or alleviate some of that error by first starting this way, drawing the first two in this direction and drawing the second two in this direction. And that way, you know, as you're going around, you don't get further and further off. You, there's, you stay a little bit closer. So you can get them pretty accurate by this method. Anyway, this is just a cool little trick that I want to show you that you can do with a speed square, some a marker or pencil, 
and a straight edge. I hope that you can uh, get some use out of it, and I'll see you in the next one.